in the last episode. Go juice. Quite good, mate. Spit. Not at all. So we have mocked up the uh, turbo and the manifold onto the 2JZ. Now this is just a mock-up because we actually need to uh, modify the downpipe and then get the wastegate situated, which actually looks like it's hitting the engine mount. That's a problem. And then uh, we got to sort out all the plumbing here uh, for the intercooler piping uh, and then all the plumbing for the oiling and the water. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to do, so uh, let's do it. This uh, this is an oiling kit. It's basically just everything you need to get oil to the turbo. You got your drain, you got your feed, you got your fittings, and all the other sort of bits and bobs. Install it. Here we have the oil feed line. A turbocharger requires lubrication, okay? And the lubrication comes from oil, engine oil, in fact. So uh, basically we have, like I said here, the turbo oil feed. So this sends pressurized oil from the block where there's already pressurized oil, throws it into the turbo, which goes into the center part of the turbo with all the spinny stuff. And then we have the oil drain. Now you'll notice the oil drain is way bigger than the oil feed. And that's because, well, you need to drain the oil at a fast enough rate so that the pressurized oil because it changes pressure. Again, this is how it works. And so this just goes back into the oil pan and then that oil just gets recycled. It's good for the planet. Uh, not really, but you know, it works. So this is our oil block off. Uh, it's fairly simplistic in nature. What we'll do is uh, take this old banjo bolt off. These are called banjo bolts. I don't know why. Uh, it doesn't really look like a, a banjo. Well, I guess it could look like a banjo. Because like a banjo has got like a little place for it to go into the strings. You would put the strings like here and then there's like the base of the... And there's the bridge for the neck. Hang, bang, 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 bang. Now 
Now, one thing I should note is, uh, you can see this isn't directly 90 degrees up, um, but it should be, in fact. Yeah. Oh yeah, that'll fit way better. Cool, let's take a break. Okay, so here's the downpipe, and it goes in here. Uh, snakes around like so, and uh, doesn't totally fit uh, over here. Also, there's the uh, small problem that this is a V-band flange, and this is what's called a Marmon flange. I don't know what a Marmon flange is, but all Borg Warners have Marmon flanges on them for some reason. So we gotta lop this thing off and then put a Marmon end on it and then uh, also fix the uh, length so it actually fits in here. So I think we're gonna have to cut maybe about an inch off of it, so probably right where this is welded, and then uh, stick a Marmon flange right there. So, yeah. Welding is hard work. I mean, well, if you're as useless as I am at it, then simple things become pretty hard. But regardless, this is here. Uh, things are kind of mocked up in the right places. The downpipe's welded. The dump tube is welded. Um, now pretty much all I need to do is I need to get a couple bolts for the oil drain and then like some thread sealant for that. And then I uh, can start plumbing it up and putting it all together. I need to, I don't know, look around and find some like intercooler pipe stuff like silicone elbows and a bunch of stuff should have stuff laying around if not somebody's got something laying around so i'll make some calls and see uh but yeah i think we're pretty close to getting this thing started up it's a couple coolant lines that need to be routed in like certain places um and then and then that's pretty much it and then we can start it up and take the first spin so yeah